And this happened about a week ago. This was right here in Mexicali. They um, they kidnapped two brothers here in, in, in Mexicali. One survived. Uh, they were kidnapped for about 24 hours. And they were being held against their will. When one of them got away. This was this happened in San Luis Rio, Colorado. Which is right here um, like on the, borders, on the border of Sonora and Mexicali. And they said that they took them on a car. And they took them to... In, uh, in outskirts city, like an, it's not even outskirts city, it's like a like a ranch, like ranch style city, or ranch style neighborhood, sorry, called Vicente Guerrero in Mexicali, where they were strangled to death, but one had survived, and now he went to go look for help, and he's out here, basically, he just you know, everyone's saying that it sucks because now they know that he's alive and they're gonna come finish the job, so it sucks. But that's that's what's going on. Out here is, yeah, next story. Okay, so this happened also in Mexicali, and this was actually done by a migrant. So they stopped a Salvadorian for the intent of homicide, where two men were, um, were injured by basically a shank, a knife. One of them was injured very badly. He said they had to uh, take him with the paramedics to the Cruz Roja, which is the Red Cross. Okay, so it says that this Salvadorian was asking that if uh, he told the victims that if he could use their bathroom, that he needed to go to the bathroom, all he needed to do was um, use the bathroom, and that when they let him in, he stabbed, he tried, he stabbed one of them and tried to kill the other one, basically tried to kill both of them. How do you like them apples? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, alright, so, holy crap. So, in this article, I'm not going to read it all, but it literally says that um, they they federally had to close a carniceria, which is a, a like, you know, we, uh, a meat market, sorry, in Zapopan, Jacotan, Santa Maria del Pueblito, Ciudad Granja, y San Juan de Ocotan, because in those cities, they were selling human meat. From sicarios, they were basically getting rid of the, uh, of the of the people that they're assassinating, and making profit out of out of them. <laughs> like, what? Um, the officer said that he had walked into when they were uh, chopping them up that they had them like pigs upside down, and that what was peculiar. The officer said, "I'm not reading. I'm not. Re um, it's somewhere in this right here." But he says that he was seeing them cutting cut, cutting them in pieces as if they were animals, as if they were cutting them. Trying to imitate the succulent pieces, I guess. Like it's very weird. It's in, oh, it's just disturbing. Um, the store is called Maxi Carne. That is the the meat um, wholesale, I guess, that was selling the human meat. <laughs> That's some sick shit. <laughs> Thank you.